There's a ton that goes on head coach Matt Nagy. Absolutely. Go watch. We've talked about this every week with this football team. Matt Nagy's taken a player last year in Mitchell Trubisky, and what he did was, what do you do well, what don't you do good? We're going to major in what you do well, and we're not going to expose you to what you don't do good. Now this year, he's taken everything that Mitchell Trubisky does well, put it on the back burner, and exposed him to everything that he does not do well. Just look at the third quarter yesterday. This was the only time they broke the pocket and did a play-action pass shot downfield. Huge completion. The next play, quarterback design run. The only one, and it goes down to the one-yard line. But this, is, isn't, this is not what's going on with this football team. They are trying to make Mitchell Trubisky and this offense something that they're not. And the interesting thing is, when you look at Matt Nagy, it seems not only with the quarterback play, but the, the run game and the drop back pass game route concept wise, that he's overwhelmed, that he's just trying to find something in this offense that may work when he has data from last year that will. Who's going to last longer in Chicago, the quarterback or the coach? Who will they choose, Dan? I'd say the quarterback lasts longer because he could eventually be a backup. You know, they have his third year of his rookie deal, so he's definitely there next year. And, and uh, I think quarterbacks last longer than coaches. I have such a huge problem with Matt Nagy saying there's a lot, of, lot more problems. Why do you have Why? a problem with it? Because take the blame, coach. Mm. Yeah. Like, even if it is a lot of people, and we know it's not just one person, players respect coaches that say, Wade Phillips used to tell us before every game, which gave us the freedom to go out and play, the mistakes are mine. Just go out and play mm. football. I, I have a large problem with him saying that there's a lot more problems. Just say, it's me. I have to get it fixed. That's one step to everybody saying, well, at least he's taking the brunt of what's going on here, and he's responsible for correcting it. I, I never agree with a coach saying it's a lot more problems going on. It's a lot more people not doing. Dude, don't say that. And, and your point is right, Mark, is like that as a player gets you to play free. It gets you to play confident. Yes. It gets you to play from a play. You're not fearful to make those mistakes because now everybody in that locker room is like, are you talking about me? Listen, we've talked for two days now about Lamar Jackson, right? And the job that Greg Roman has done with Lamar Jackson I honestly think the Chicago Bears should be doing the same thing with Mitchell Trubisky. Yeah. And, and if we're going to praise the play caller in Baltimore for utilizing Lamar the way that he should, then Matt Nagy has to bear the brunt of the criticism no when question. you're taking a player no and you're question. ruining them. Like, it makes no sense when you have evidence of how to use a guy and then you don't use him that way. And it makes me mad because we place the label bust on a kid when the coach is not doing his number one job. And it's not fair to Mitchell Trubisky. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.